Are you happy with yourself? Are you happy with yourself? Governor of campus, the topic for this, are you happy with myself? I am very happy with myself, right? For all the things that I've done, I have done, made by have a good parent, have a good life, have a good career, have good kids. I'm very happy. There are, I mean, I mean uh, not all of us are 100% happy. There could be some areas for some improvement, right? So as long as you try to understand your weakness, start working on it, you try to come out at this time. I'm sure you'll be the 100% happy one day. Thank you.
in between the criminal and the lawyer to point out that what are doing in the court is a criminal activity. My dear friends, just for your clarification, what we do in the court is for the sake of the clients. But the only ambition for only uh, destination for us is to save the client and to, to fill our pockets. So for that, <laughs> fill up our pockets with the, the satisfaction, the happiness, <laughs> as well as the gratitude of the clients. All day. Please vote for the best table topic speaker. Timer, please uh, read out the names who are qualified. Qualified TT speakers are Toastmaster Pahandaman, Toastmaster Kartikeini, Toastmaster Dr. TK Sundram, Toastmaster Krishna Prada. Postmaster Sadish and Postmaster Sunil. Thank you. I now return the control of the meeting. Yeah. A big round of applause for all the people. I would request the time to read out the qualified speaker names. Qualified speakers are. Postmaster Karthi Gayan, Postmaster Aravi, and Postmaster Prenga. I request you all to please vote for the best speaker. Now I will call upon the Prenga Minister, Postmaster Aravi. Thank you, Postmaster. <coughs> Friends, how was the meeting? How were the speeches? We had some marathon of motivational speeches and a singing competition held over here. What do you say? Yes or no? Yes. yes. So let's applaud. Uh, let's give a big round of applause. <laughs> so let me start the evaluation session. To evaluate the first speaker, we have a person who gives hundred percent in what he does, irrespective of speaking or reading or eating, whatever it may be. He gives his hundred percent. He enjoys the journey of his life, irrespective of the destination. He is the Mr. Business Analyst, he is the Mr. Topless, he is none other than Mr. Ramalingam. Topless. Hello, Postmasters, General Evaluator, and welcome guests. I'm my target speaker, Mr. Sir. The challenge with icebreaker is we need to precisely explain about ourselves. Pass in their past history in just four to six minutes. Whereas Mr. Saral went ahead and explained about himself to just his opening, simple three questions. How many of you are born in village? How many of you work for government organizations? And how many of you are mad after movies? This simple questions, I'm all is this. By answering this, he painted a clear picture about himself. A person who born in the village, working for a government organization, and for the movies. Simple. Three questions which gives a clear picture about oneself. Very good opening, attention grabbing opening. At the same time, it supported your icebreaker objective. It's introducing yourself to the audience. Really good job you have done on time. Again, questions to the audience. When well, uh, Mr. Sarath was doing intermediate, when his teacher asked a question of he didn't understand the question because of the problem he had in English. What he used to do? Look at the ceiling. See, people are able to understand your speech means people are able to recall your speech. When you explain an incident in a funny way, people are able to recall. It has got a lot of memorable quotient in that. This is something which you have got you didn't do it consciously, but which is there in your spirit. That means naturally you have got a talent of bringing a lot of funny things in your spirit. That is something which you can develop. And your script really had a very good structure. You had a good opening with questions. And you explained about yourself in a chronological order, from birth to your career and where you are working till now. And you closed it with 
a success code. So it has got, it has got a good structure. Definitely you have met all the objectives of icebreaker. Kudos for <laughs> To make this icebreaker a bit better, what you would have done? In icebreaker actually you are allowed to use notes. But you didn't use notes, that's something really good and laudable. Though you have notes, you didn't use it. But the way in which you kept the notes with you, you were fumbling with notes like this. So that was something disturbing. You would have left it as such and if you would read your hands and explain things. Maybe your hands would have talked some words, you would have supported the points. So that way, I would suggest from your next speech, leave your hands like this. Your hands also will talk words, more words, that will support the speech. So, this particular flaw, you know, so this break is completely enjoyable. But definitely, I would like you to listen to your more of speeches. The next evaluator for today is, she's like almost 10 years elder to me. She has like, <laughs> she has like almost evaluated 10 times the number of speeches I evaluated. She's the seasonal evaluator of Mentally Toastmaster Club. She's none other than Toastmaster Subhashi. <laughs>